Welcome to First 15 Live. Glad to have you on this morning. We're coming from uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 1, in our Bible reading plan. We have, um, it goes through Psalms actually twice in a year, for whatever reason. And so, uh, I've got that vo verse added to the top. Um, you can join in that Bible reading plan simply by commenting Bible reading plan, and we'll give you the link. Also, if you want our link to our Instagram, just comment Instagram, though it is just Instagram.com slash uh, first15live, so you can check us out there. And then um, there's always our partners page, which I should, I know I keep saying it, I should this morning make an announcement there um, about how you can help out financially if you're interested in that, um, help get the word out to more people. And um, I know several people have asked about that. Good morning from VA. Come on. Um, we got first comment here. Mr. Parsons got first comment. Good morning. Everybody jumping on. All right, let's dive into this. Psalm chapter 1, verse 2. Hey, also, if you want to get notified every morning when we go live, just comment notify, and we'll give you the link to that. So, um, here we go. Psalm 1, 2 says this, and it's talking about the man who is blessed. And it says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night day and night, night and day, day and night. And so I want to challenge you with a real simple thought today. It's going to be quick and easy. How do you start your day? How do you finish your day? Because often that determines the quality of your day, how you start your day, how you finish your day. That's why I hope these videos are helpful. I hope it's a great way to start your day. We believe every believer can spend at least 15 minutes with God in the morning. Like, hey, I'm just I'm gonna spend 15 minutes with God, give him what's first in my day. So how do you start your day? How do you finish your day? Is it with the word of God? Is it with God's presence? Is it in prayer? And if you'll, if you'll manage how you start your day and how you finish your day, you'll see God work all the more in those in-between moments, right? Um, both, both during the day and at night while you're sleeping. Um, because God can do some crazy things while you sleep, by the way. So um, anyway, that's how I want to challenge you. I, I want to challenge you to think through how you're starting your day. Maybe some of you are watching this later and you need to make a commitment um, to getting on these videos earlier or whatever the case is. Um, or maybe you need to, whatever, a Bible reading plan that you're going to start in the mornings. Maybe you need to start praying um, if you're married with your spouse at night before you go to bed or with your family and uh, think through, how am I going to start my day? How am I going to finish my day? Because often if you get those things right, like I said, everything else in the middle uh, will belong to the Lord. Is that helpful? I know it's simple. It's straightforward. But that's how I want to encourage you today. Um, maybe you can drop in the comments how you start your day besides these videos and, uh, and how you finish your day, and that can encourage somebody. Um, I, I see Leslie saying it's a great way to start your day. I like it. Uh, hopefully these videos are good for, for a lot of you guys. Good morning, everybody on. Let me pray for you. Father, there's a bunch of world changers watching this. Help us, God, to start our day and finish our day with you and your word and prayer in your presence. And Lord, as we do that, um, let it make an impact in us and through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, you are a world changer. Go change the world today. Bye for now.